Gina Bass made history at Rio 2016 by being the first ever Gambian woman to secure Olympic qualification standard. Pretty remarkable, right? But three years on, things haven't quite moved on for the 24-year-old whose dreams are being threatened by conditions she wishes will change real soon. In my country, they call me the poorest Olympian, but I accept it. I don't have a car. I don't have like a house. My name is Gina Bass from Gambia. I'm the record holder in 100 and 200 meters. The government, they don't treat athletes like the way they treat the footballers. They give them a lot of money and all of them will have a house. But for us, we suffer before getting the allowance that they do give us. So it's really hard to us, the athletes. I'm living with my brother. So when I'm going for training, I suffer to get a vehicle to go for training. And after training, I suffer to, to find a vehicle to go home. There is a moment that you feel like, why am I doing this? Because I'm not having nothing from it. So you feel like leaving, but it's because you love the, the sport. So you just say, ah, let me just continue. Some families, they have like finance, financial problems. So uh, the family that is better than the other one, they can just take your kids and brought up the person so that the person will be better somebody tomorrow. That is what happens to me. My biological mom, because when she saw me, she said that I'm small, uh, whether I don't I eat, I asked him that I do eat, he said no, maybe it's because the sport that I'm doing, I need to stop it so that I'll be like the other people. I tell him, look, I like sport, so I cannot stop it because, because of I'm thin. I like the way I am. At times when I feel like to give up, I talk to Adama. He tell me, look, even me, he's the national record holder in 200 meters. So he advised me, no, this is and this and this and this. In life, it's never been easy. I will call her my best friend. I call her my training partner. Sometimes when she cried, I cried too. He's like my brother to me. I have never had doubt in Gina of whatsoever she is doing in her career. I know one day she will be that world championship that she wants. I train with her. We are in the same center in Dakar. She's the fastest now in Africa. I want to be more than what she have achieved in life. I know before Talu will be Talu, she suffer. So I suffer before coming to Gina. My dream is to break the world record in 200 meters. But I know I will achieve it. When I reach where Talu reach, I will get whatever I want to get. With money, without no money, just focus that I'm, I, I will be somebody tomorrow.